Hey dudes and dudettes, you're probably annoyed at the difficulty spike for the fight with Auntie Ethel, so here's a way to eliminate her. There will be two parts for this video, first the masks fight, because she summons them if you enter battle when they're alive, and then confronting her in her lair. I will cover how to kill her in the house in another video, since there's a lot of RNG in the mechanics and there are some item requirements for that situation. In this method, however, the only requirements are magic missiles and perhaps an area of effect item or spell like arrow of fire, thunder wave or simply cleave. I'll be using Astarian, Shalahart and Gale for these fights, mainly because of some minor dark areas in the lair, but any composition that has a magic missile should work the same way. If you're so adamant to use a party without dark vision, you may drop and light candles to remove the darkness. Davai. First, enter Auntie's lair behind the fireplace, go down to the fake door, avoid the masks on the table, sneak through and free yourself from the toilet chain. Position yourself a little behind the rock and wait for the high ground vision to clear. Once the masks are facing away, enter turn-based mode. Move everybody on the high ground and eliminate everyone in this order. Mask of Regret, Mask of Vengeance, Terror and finally Servitude. Since attacking one of them will trigger the surprise round, you should be able to take out the first two before the battle really begins. Just make sure that you take out the Mask of Regret because she has the most annoying spell. Once you're done there, you can exit the cave to long rest if you've used up all your spell slots. Or, if you're an edgelord, go straight to the waterfall and throw the candles to clear the poison clouds. You will run into some traps on the way down, so be prepared to lose health. You might run into another door on the way down that leads to the underdark. You used to need a mask to open it, but now you don't. Be mindful of that if you're watching this during the later patches. It's a good idea to save in front of the lair before the fight, in case the RNG gods are not fond of you. But today, we make our own luck. Free yourself from the toilet chain and toggle sneak mode. Move closer to the edges to find the hidden traps and turn off the fires while Mayrina yells at you. Enough! Watch how you Don't go. There's a trap. Oh, you moaning cow, Jesus! Once you notice how annoying she is, bless yourself with the power of friendship and move in behind the bridge. It's not necessary, but you can use the turn-based mode with the dash actions in order to maximize the bless charges. Use Yale to cast Thunder Wave, which will reveal and surprise Auntie Ethel. Now, you may use whichever attack you have available with the sneaky dudes, Remember to poison your weapons if available. This should bring her to about 70 to 80 health, if things went poorly. She will split into 4 aunties, 3 of which are fake, but do some serious damage. So make sure you use Gale's magic missiles to take out the fakes. The real one remains in the same position in the turn order and the camera pans to her when she splits. I don't know if Larian will fix this extremely helpful mechanic of the camera, but now you know how to always find the right one. When you take out the illusions, depending on how much damage you dealt to her, she will either split into 5 and the camera will pan to the real one again, or she may change places with Marina. Again, use the camera. Or she will turn invisible and split. Again, look at the camera and the turn order for the real one. Each time the illusions won't act until the next turn and your repetitive single mission is to take them out with Gale's magic missiles while the rest of your party deals damage to Ethel. Near Auntie Ethel's 12-ish health, if her turn order comes, she will bargain for her life to the character nearest to her. She offers an increase of stats in exchange for her life, but that option is currently unavailable. I will write in the description or in the pinned comment when this becomes available. If you're watching this in the later patches, check that out. However, if they vastly change the mechanics of the fight, I will simply make another video. The highlighted rewards for this fight are the Tarnished Charm, Corillan's Grace, the alternative entrance to the Underdark, 
Staff of Crones which can be given to Gale to absorb and the one that will summon a personal Nazi zombie for you. If you keep the wand during Myrina's quest. So there's a lot of incentive to do this quest chain. And that's about it. I hope you learned something dudes. Have fun and have a beautiful day.